Hello all my servers, mates, and ladies out there. How's it going? It's Brad also known as GBJ57, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I wanted to make kind of a mod review series. I figured it'd be pretty fun, because lately, since I've been doing a lot of PC modding, I've run into a, uh, a few really fun mods out there that maybe not everyone knows about, but are very fun to use. Now, um, these mods will be, say, like, fun or useful, and they'll mainly be based in PC single player for GTA 5. Uh, none of these are going to be in multiplayer, just just to let you know because you do get banned for using mods and multiplayer so I'm not endorsing any of that no like you know online hacking or any of that these are these mods are strictly for single player and they are built on the premise of just having a good time enhancing your game you know making it more fun that kind of stuff now for the naming of the series, you guys know I do like to name my series, so I was thinking something like The Mod Report, but um, if you guys have any other better names, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, now, since this is just the first video in the series, I'm just going to go over how the makeup of these videos is going to go. First, I'll show you guys the mod, just a quick little uh, intro, some gameplay, that kind of stuff, about what the mod is, and then the second half of the video, if you guys need help with installation, I will do a small installation tutorial um, on how to install this mod. Pretty easy, but some people do have some trouble that aren't as familiar with installing mods, so of course I will help you guys out with that. Now let's get into the mod. So this mod right here is called Ramp Jam. Now it is so much fun. It's a simple, simple, simple mod. It's built on the premises. All it does is when you click a certain button, it'll spawn a ramp in front of you, but it just is so much fun. Basically, the feature of this uh, mod is when you click E on the keyboard or RB if you're using a controller like me, um, it'll spawn a ramp in front of you. If you hold it down, it'll spawn a whole bunch of ramps and you can do loops and you can do like make six stunt ramps, that kind of stuff. And as you can see in the gameplay here, um, you can just like do whatever the hell you want. You can just go all over the place. It makes like your whole uh, GTA single player experience into one giant stunt race. It's crazy. It's great because you can enable and disable it whenever you want. So if you want to, you know, stop having to worry about ramp spawning every time you hit that certain key, uh, then you can just go back to normal play and then all of a sudden you enable it and boom, uh, you're flying around all over the place again. Lots of fun. Now this mod does work with any vehicles, whether it be slow or fast, because once you uh, enable the mod and you start trying to spawn ramps, every ramp you spawn, it gives your vehicle a speed boost. So the slower vehicles, no problem. It will still be able to use all the ramps and that kind of stuff. It doesn't just have to be supercars and you can just go flying all over the place. You can use like planes on this thing. You can use bikes, cars, you can use buses if you want, like any crazy vehicles, as long as you can uh, get them up to speed and uh, you know, make the uh, make the loop or whatever you're doing with them go wild. You can have as much fun as you want. Um, this mod is really, really cool. Very simple concept, but it is lots of fun to use. You just kind of lose track of time when you're going all over the place with this one. So that pretty much wraps up the mod. I hope you just sirs enjoyed this video. I hope you like this idea. Um, if you want to watch the second half of the video, that's when I'll be doing the installation guide for this. If not, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already. And as always, sirs. Have a good day. All right, sirs, now let's get right into how to install this mod. Now, it's really easy. Um, if you go to the link in the description on the Ramp Jam page, it's very uh, intensive description that he has here. So, um, lots of stuff, all the what's new, that kind of stuff. The controls are all down here. So, uh, when you have the mod enabled, you might want to come look back here for all the controls because there is a lot of uh, controls to remember because there's a bunch of different features with this mod. So, first, what you're going to want to look at is the requirements. Now, native UI, if you already have it from some other mods, I recommend um, just going through and making sure you have the most updated version by downloading it from here. Uh, that was the issue I had when I first tried to install this mod is that I already had native UI from one of my other uh, mods that I had. So I figured I didn't need to update it or anything, but actually I did because the version I had was good enough to run my other mod, but not this mod. So uh, also you're going to need script hook V and script hook V.net. Now, once you have all those files, these are all my files here. I got ramp, ramp jam up here, native UI, script hook V.net and script hook V. So let's get right to installing these. These ones are really easy. So you're going to want to find wherever your Grand Theft Auto install files are. So for me, it's program files, Steam, Steam apps, and common and you can see Grand Theft Auto 5 right here. Um, for you guys playing on disk, it'll be a different file location or depending on how you have your Steam set up, it may also be a different location. Anyway, so now all I have to do, so I'm gonna uh, install the script hook first. So, so this is script hook V. All you gotta do is open the WinRAR, go into bin, and you're just gonna drag the script hook V.dll and the dinput8 
uh, .dll into the main game directory. So you can see here, all I did was go into the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, main game directory here. So all I'm gonna do is drag these two right into here. Now I already have those, of course, so I don't need to drag them in, but that's all you gotta do once they're in there. Um, that's good. Now you're gonna open scripthookv.net. It's essentially the same thing. You're gonna take the DLL and the .asi, and you're gonna drag them into your main game directory. And once they're there, then you're all good with that. Um, next, is the native UI. Now, you're gonna need to have a scripts folder, as you can see here, if you don't already have one, just make one. Uh, it's lowercase scripts, just like that. Once you're in here, you're gonna wanna open native UI, drag and drop native UI into here, and then finally, just grab, open the ramp jam, grab both the .ini and the .dll, and then you're gonna drag those in as well. And once everything is dragged into the, script fo the scripts folder and both script hook Vs are in place in your main game directory, you should be good to go. Load up the game. Uh, re just remember one key thing with the controls, Alt-N starts the mod. So if you get a little confused, you load up the game and you're honking your horn or you're clicking RB on your controller and it's not spawning any ramps, you do need to remember to enable the mod. It's pretty good. Um, that you can enable and disable it because if you want to, you know, take a break from spawning ramps like crazy everywhere, it is good that you don't have to uh, have them spawning every time you try to honk the damn horn. So, you guys can play around with that. Just remember to look back at these controls and hit Alt N to start your mod. You'll see a little message come up that says the mod has started, so that'll kind of confirm for you that you installed it correctly. If you have any other questions, please ask them down in the comment section below. Um, I'll try to uh, problem solve with you guys. It is a very straight forward mod to install so just all you got to do is just make sure you have all the most updated versions of uh native ui script hook v script hook v.net and of course the latest version of ramp jam and you should be good to go so i thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this mod review idea and i hope you uh enjoyed this series so thanks so much for watching and as always have a good day